We're trying to understand genetic diversity as a whole amongst all humans. It has important influences on disease outcomes, how we relate to one another and understand our history. My name is John Novembre. I'm an associate professor at the University of Chicago and I'm a computational biologist. The work that we do centers on studying uh, genetic diversity and developing computational methods for studying genetic diversity. The main question that we try to address is how do we analyze complex genetic data to learn things about evolution, genetics, and disease. In a model of just pure genetic drift, what inspired me to study population genetics goes back to my high school biology classes where I was fascinated when I first learned how DNA is actually encoding the proteins and the, the parts of the cellular machinery that make life work. And uh, it's only a small jump from there to thinking about how when DNA varies, does it have consequences for life. One of the major insights that our work has helped show has been the importance of geography in human evolution. And uh, most notably in one of our pieces of work, we showed how the genetics of European populations is strikingly geographic. With this discovery, it allows us to develop methods in which we can take an individual's DNA and place them on a map as long as their ancestry is generally from one location in the world. Humans across the globe are so similar to one another genetically that we thought that if we looked just within one region of the globe, we would not be able to tease apart the genetic similarities and differences that are there. And in fact, uh, we could with remarkable accuracy. And that's something that the level of resolution that we can do it with was a real surprise when we first started. If we can detect the switches from this yellow ancestry to this blue ancestry, we can find a location where a recombination occurred in the past. Recombination is a fundamental process that takes place during reproduction where the DNA from two parents is taken and uh, combined before being passed on to offspring. The rate of recombination refers to how in different regions of the genome, the DNA from the two parents is stitched together in some places more often than in others. Our work on recombination rates in African Americans took a new approach for estimating recombination rates, where we looked at locations where along the chromosome there's African ancestry and then a switch to European ancestry. With this new method, we were able to efficiently estimate a fine-scaled map for African-American individuals where no previous map existed. When I got the call from the MacArthur Foundation, I was totally surprised. The sense of affirmation that it gives us in our work and uh, the call to uh, really try to live up to our creative potential, it's going to uh, empower us to to push further than we would have ever before.